the spine is like Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke if you're new here and if you're not new here you already know me. So this morning or this afternoon, whatever you classify 11 o'clock to be, I'm going to be doing my February wrap up, my March TBR and then some goal setting for March and kind of a little bit of like a check in as to where I am in my projects. So I slept in this morning and I was too lazy to make coffee. So I have my Tim's here. Also like, okay, can we just talk for a second about paper straws? because I'm not really here for it. I don't love them. I get that they're good for the environment, but they kind of taste like garbage. And I just like, I don't like it. It's not my jam, I'm sorry. Tell me what you think in the comments. What do you think about paper straws? What is your favorite straw alternative? Help me be green. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's start with what I read in February. So as you guys know, I was hosting the Avatar Book Club. So there were a couple books that I read in February, still from the Akatar series. Actually, there were three out of four. I finished the rest of Akawar. So Akawar, I read 651 pages of this. I was only supposed to be reading half of it because I should have read half of it in January, but I didn't. I read 48 pages in January. So I read 651 pages of this bad boy in February. Next, if you can't already guess, is A Court of Frost and Starlight. This was 229 pages. Then, what I have been waiting for forever, A Court of Silver Flames. So, I'm going to be posting a vlog of this in a week or so. So, I think it's going to come out this Thursday. So, keep an eye out for that. This was an incredible book. It was definitely not one of Sarah J. Mass's best. I am going to say that. It was very, very steamy and very low on the plot front but I enjoyed it. I mean, her other books are very plot heavy. I think they're very well done. This was kind of like fan fiction. I'm here for it. It's fine. So this was a whopping 757 pages. It is very chonky. And then my last book, which I like didn't even take off the shelf for some reason. My last book was The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. So this book was actually really incredible. I wasn't sure what to think of it. It is a standalone YA fantasy. Our main character, Alessandra, wants to kill the Shadow King and take his power for herself. But as you can imagine, there's going to be some romance in here. So this was incredible. I gave this five stars on Goodreads, actually, which like I just loved it so much. I loved her character. I loved the interactions between her and the Shadow King. It was like mildly steamy. I mean, it's YA, so it was properly like YA steamy and like not really overdone. I thought it was just really, really good. And I read it in like a couple days. I mean, it's short. This one was 326 pages. I just loved it. So if you're looking for a quick read that's like, you're not gonna have to commit to a series, I would really, really recommend this one. It was just such a nice, like you started the story, it got wrapped up at the end and then you didn't have to like buy any more books. Like, I don't know, it was just very low commitment and I enjoyed it a lot. So, also it's really pretty underneath. The spine is like... The spine is really pretty, so. Not that that should be the deciding factor, but it doesn't hurt. Those were the books that I read in February, bringing me to a total of 1,963 pages. I have given up on trying to force myself to read a nonfiction book every month. It's just not happening. I'm really not enjoying myself and it, it's just, it's not fun. I thought it was gonna be a good kind of thing to do to bring me into this genre and help me appreciate it more, but I'm honestly struggling so much with the nonfiction books. So I've just, I've just done away with them for now. So now that we've finished my February TBR, let's move on to March. I'm doing something really fun in March. I'm going to be starting a series on my channel. It's going to be a series of vlogs, of reading vlogs, and I'm going to be reading The Moral Instruments. So my plan is to make my way through the entire like Shadowhunter world, not just the Mortal Instruments series, but the Mortal Instruments, the Infernal Devices, can't remember the rest of them. I only own the six Mortal Instruments books though, so that's what I'm gonna be starting off with. So I have the Mortal Instruments, City of Bones, Cassandra Clare. So I actually have the special edition of this coming in the mail, which I'm really excited about, but I don't think it's gonna be here in time for me to read it, which is really, really sucky, uh, but oh well, it's okay. I'll just look at it, maybe I'll read it again. City of Bones is 485 pages. Then we have book two, City of Ashes. So this one is actually brand new. I had to buy a couple of these because I didn't have the entire series. None of the covers match. It is a mess. 
were fine. This I'm sure smells incredible. It does, can confirm. This one's 453 pages. The next one, City of Glass, is 541 pages. And then the last one that I'm gonna read in March is the City of Fallen Angels, which is 425 pages. So I'm gonna be reading four of these in March and then the next two I'm gonna read in April because I'm not gonna have enough time to read all six of them. This is a pretty ambitious TBR this month, I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna try and get through it. The next book that I have on my TBR for March is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. So I've been really excited about this. I've been trying to get my hands on this book for months and it was just sold out everywhere. Also the lighting is just continuously getting worse in this video, I love it. So this book is about a girl who like makes a deal with a demon or something and then she's turned immortal but the consequence of it is that no one remembers her after she like walks away or something but then she goes to a bookstore and this guy remembers her. So I'm really excited about this. It's a beautiful book and mm, this one smells really good. It kind of smells like, you know when you walk into like the brick or like a furniture store? That's what this smells like. Is that weird? Okay, so there's that. Then there's actually, I am going to try to read a nonfiction book in March. I know I said I was doing away with them, but my dad dropped me off a book the other day. It is called Into Thin Air by John Krakauer. That's not how I'm going to say it. The, I don't have the jacket for it, so it's hard to see, but this is a book about a Mount Everest climb like adventure. So I'm, I think this is going to be really good. It's going to be different from the other nonfiction that I'm trying to read. I think that this is going to be a lot more interesting and more like story-like. So this is still a story, it's just nonfiction. Like I find that the nonfiction I'm trying to read isn't, it's not story format, right? I feel like this is still gonna be like adventurous enough to keep my attention. So we're gonna try that. I don't know how many pages this is, let me check. It is 293 pages. Let me do some calculating here and see how many pages I'm going to read this month. So my total page count for March is going to be 2,645. That is a lot of pages. I'm a little bit scared, this might be too ambitious we're gonna try, what else? I wouldn't consider any of these books to be really long. Like last month I had like a couple like 700 page books. These are all within the kind of like low four to 500 range. So I think that's gonna be manageable. I think the book I'm most excited for this month is Addie LaRue. It's just really been an anticipated read for me. Definitely an anticipated five star read. So hopefully it lives up to the expectation. Okay. So now let's get into goals. I didn't really have any goals set for February. I was a bit of a lazy person in February, but the one goal that I did have, I didn't succeed in meeting. So I wanted to finish editing FFT by the end of February. So I'll give you a little update on FFT. I'm still editing and I'm not as far along as I hoped I would be. So I'm at the fun and games portion. I'm editing the fun and games portion of the book, which is the largest kind of like beat. I neglected it in favor of working on my fantasy project, Project Blade. Many of you know about it. I did mention it in one of my videos and I'm going to be posting a video all about Project Blade soon for you guys. So anybody out there who's been hyping me up about it, you're gonna get to learn a little bit more about the project. I'm super excited to share it with you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna be sharing like a ton, but I'm gonna be sharing some little tidbits here and there. I was hoping to have FFT ready for beta readers in March. It's not gonna happen. So hopefully by April, but it's crappy because then April, April comes and it's Camp Nano and nobody's gonna wanna take time to beta read for me. So <laughs> we'll see what happens, but just a little update on Project Blade. So I have reached 11,777 words in Project Blade, which I'm really excited about passing the 10K mark. My goal for my first draft of Blade is to get it to 100,000 words, so I'm a tenth of the way there, yay me. So that's kind of where I am in Project Blade. I've just come up to the catalyst and the debate scenes are happening now, so that's what I'm in the process of writing. Very excited about it. I feel like it's going very, very well. And my March goals. So my March goals are pretty lenient. I haven't, I'm not really setting any kind of rigid goals for March, especially with camp coming up in April. I'm kind of being nice to myself. So I want to get at least 10k on Project Blade, which is really not that much because people can get 10k in a day. I'm not one of those people, but. <laughs> and my second goal is to finish editing FFT. So 
that's the big goal. So that's why I'm not being too ambitious with Project Blade with the word count because I know I'm going to have to put a lot of time and effort into FFT. And a non-writing goal is that now that it's getting warmer outside or kind of like whatever you would call getting warmer in Canada, I want to be going outside more and getting fresh air because I've been cooped up inside all winter working from home and not going anywhere because it's minus 40. So I want to be getting outside at least three days a week for a walk. One more fun tidbit, I recently, like about an hour ago, just put in a book order. So I ordered the next two books in the Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardugo. I wanna read these in preparation for the Netflix show that is coming out. Obviously they had to mar my nice pretty book. It's not even a sticker. This isn't even a sticker. It's like, you can't, I'm not happy about this, whatever. So anyways, I ordered the next two books in this series. This is a very beautiful book. I'm very impressed with this. It's just like blinding you, I'm sorry. But anyways, I ordered the next two in this series and then I actually also ordered Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I ordered the box set. So I will be eagerly awaiting their arrival. But that's it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you're reading or writing in the month of March. Let me know what your plans for April camp are if you have them yet. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more content like this two days a week and live streams on Saturdays. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.